I wanted a 4S lithium-ion uh, battery management system, something to balance the charge and to ensure that the battery isn't over-discharged. And I noticed that there appeared to be a lot of 3Ss and 4Ss that looked exactly the same. And I figured, well, perhaps they're selling uh, the, the 3Ss with a 4S capability. I, I took a close look at them on AliExpress and uh, on Banggood, and they looked exactly the same. Um, so I ordered the 3S, which was a few dollars cheaper, being the, uh, the type what I am, and uh, I hooked up the power to it to see what I was going to get out of it. So let me do that for you now, and I'll show you what happened. Right, just so we know uh, we're on the same page with this module, this is where you attach the power in for the battery. This is where the individual voltages are output. Obviously you've got the maximum voltage across these two pins but we should get a, a first voltage interval there, um, a second, a third and of course the highest voltage across the pins. Now with those three intervals in the middle between the high voltages that's a, a 4S capable board and it's even got the four MOSFETs. Now I, I'm no Sherlock Holmes but uh, my, my guess is that uh, this is a 4S board that's been uh, um, sold as a, as a 3S, uh, slightly cheaper. So I should be able to get uh, voltages across these, these three pins. So, so let's do that now. I'll hook up the multimeter. This is an auto-ranging multimeter. Don't worry if it uh, shows some uh, spurious figures on there while it seeks a, uh, a range. <clears throat> right, I've got the um, common connected to the uh, negative rail on, on the board and this is VL here you can see and I'm going to try and get a, a voltage reading on that well it's picking up uh, many volts but and that's essentially zero on this old this auto ranging meter let's try it on the next one now I've got 12 volts going into this so uh, 12 divided by 4 should be about 3 3 volts on that first channel so this should be 6 it's auto ranging it's 3.5, 3.4, and the next one is 6 volts. So clearly, VL uh, has been disabled or crippled. Uh, so I think I'll take a closer look. Right, here we are, and this is the 4S cell um, on AliExpress, and as you can see, it looks remarkably similar. I've also got the data sheet up here. Um, it's a chip called the 8254 from Seiko. Pretty impressive uh, piece of silicon. Um, and down here they have the configuration. Well, actually, if I go to the top, it says it's for a, a serial 4 or serial 3. So, so clearly, somebody's uh, crippled the four cell operation on the uh, board that I've got. So let's take a look at the circuits for both. There we have the three cell operation and here below we have the the four cell operation. Um, these are the output pins up here uh, that give you the voltage intervals for balance charging and discharging and they look remarkably similar except 12, pin 12 on the 4 goes to goes to VL I guess um, now let's take a closer look at, at, at mine um, I've got, I've got the, the board here on a microscope well not a microscope it's a sort of little mo monocle thing with a lens on it um, to orientate it around the right way so we have pin 1 top left uh, bottom right will be pin 9 pin 10 pin 11 and there we have pin 12 which is going over here which looks like it's going over to the capacitor resistor uh, connection in the same way that the 4-cell is doing. Um, 
So I don't. Oh yeah, it's going straight to VL, and that was the problem. I was getting zero out of VL. But if I trace the circuit a little bit further down, it's it's going to what looks like a surface mount resistor with a value of zero, which is, I guess, effectively uh, grounding it. So although it's connected to the output, it's been bypassed with a ground. Let's take go back to the to the Ali Express listing. Where is it? There it is. There. Um, yes, look at it. You can see down here, exactly there, we've got, um, let's go zoom in. It's not grounded here. See this pin here? It's not grounded. So it, it does go to VL and isn't grounded. But it looks like there's another change there. What is that? Pin 8, 9, 10. Pin 10. Let me, let me take a look at pin 10 on mine. Uh, 9, 10. There's no resistor across uh, the grounding rail on pin 10 on on mine, but it looks like there is. 9, 10, yeah, 10. What is that? Is that a, yeah, it's 102, that's a 100k resistor across there. So my guess is, if I, if I take out this grounding uh, resistor, <laughs> and put in 100k on pin 10, I might bring VL into life. Let's see if it works. Well, normally I'd speed this section up on video uh, or play a bit of music, but if this board is doing what I think it's doing, this module, uh, it reminds me of another IBM story. Um, there was a bunch of guys known as CEs or customer engineers, and they were quite intimidating to a, a new starter at IBM, but in time, I came to respect them uh, as some of the smartest guys in IBM. They were, a, a, I suppose, a beer swilling, uh, chain smoky, hell raising type of bunch who, who worked hard and played very hard. And I, I thought I'd reached the top of the technical uh, tree, uh, writing uh, operating system uh, in assembler. But these guys had to know everything: the operating systems, all of them, the hardware, the firmware. Uh, they're a crazy uh, wild bunch, if ever there was one. Well, one day, uh, when I was a humble operator, um, a 3211 chain printer went for a Burton. Well, uh, gone for a Burton, that's English. Um, uh, Tango uniform. And the CE arrived, and as he was repairing it, he told me a story of how in the old days uh, they upgraded the older printers to higher speeds, a chargeable service and higher maintenance fees. They were to get the client out of the room, open up the printer and move a drive belt to a smaller pulley that was already fitted. Um, job done, upgrade fee and increased maintenance fee. Now, I'm optimistic that the Chinese have adopted similar tactics here. See, if it were me, I'd think, great, well, we can sell this with a micro switch to allow both 3S and 4S BMS capability, but that's probably why I still have to work for a living. Well, I haven't uh, used surface mount uh, stuff before, <laughs> principally because I can't see them, never mind solder them, and one sneeze and they'd be gone. Well, uh, not the finest soldering job in in Christendom, but I've got a 100k resistor across pin 10 to ground and I managed to get that bugger off, that jumper, that zero ohm resistor on pin 12. Um, and of course I lost it. <laughs> anyway, let's give it a try. VL, 4 volts, VM, 7 and heading up to nine. Well, <laughs> it's brought it to life. Um, I'm not sure those voltages are terribly accurate, but I, I haven't got a, a very good power supply here. Um, but VL is alive and kicking with four volts. Hope you found that useful. Um, there's a link on the screen right now to the spec sheet for this uh, amazing device. Um, and if you did find it useful, please give me a thumbs up.